Nappy Plum. This is uh, this is something. Okay, so this is uh, South Africa. I learned today that the the Coda ZA is South Africa. So um, I'm glad. I'm glad that that's that. Okay, and R R is Rand, right? Right. I learned that. Learned stuff. Um, it's also interesting that you guys do negative. 9% for a discount in the United States. I've never seen this ever. It's always 9% off um, We never do negative percentages. It just um, in, in your mind, it just looks na like why would I want to buy something that's negative, you know, I think that's just, it's just a marketing thing You never see it here uh, Yeah, because here you say 10% off, but okay um, So I'm guessing this is like the the ultimate resource for baby nappies and um, and other stuff, wipes. Um, I know this is like a work in progress. Um, right away, it looks like you're you're taking a very like um, very I don't know corporate approach, very cold approach, similar to like AliExpress or like a major major uh, retailer of something like this. Um, so I hope that that's that's your aim because this, that's what it looks like. Um, People, you know, wouldn't get excited of a new product coming out of here because it just doesn't look like it. You just come here as a commodity, um, you get what you need, probably at a cheap price because it's online only, you know, drop shipping or whatever it is, um, and then and then you leave and you don't care. So hopefully that's what you're getting for. You know, even having a subscription here uh, to subscribe. I mean, obviously you want people on your mailing list, but um, with this kind of presentation, I wouldn't expect them to be highly engaged in your brand they just want they just want pampers and huggies, you know what I mean? So um so I'm almost so this doesn't make much sense to have these um testimonials here since um I think you're functioning as a retailer, which means every product's gonna have reviews, not you as a company. I mean obviously you're gonna position yourself as a reputable, um, reputable uh, retailer of these products. So if you're gonna do that, um, don't don't put this here. This is kind of weird. It's just like if I was on AliExpress and I saw testimonials of AliExpress, like you just don't see that. They have so many products. It's insane. You know, this is what they put at the bottom of their thing. Um, Obviously, trying to get people in their newsletter, but but they're uh, they they want to put um, testimonials of their own company. Go on, let's see. Um, so let's see. Uh, there's a lot of products here. I, they don't feel like they're. Oh, this this is the section. Okay, so you, I think you want to split up your sections, kind of kind of this kind of style, because it's very clear what belongs to what. Um, here is just ton of products. I don't know what I want. Um, so that's something to consider. Just group your things very clearly together. Um, and then I actually just noticed, I love that AliExpress has this. The final thing is recommendations for you. How on earth do they even know what I want? Do you just like rain? Oh, try your luck. It's just random products. Um, but that, like, that's amazing. Love that feature. Um, I feel like this, this could work. Well, it could, might not work well, but it could be a cool thing to implement. So yeah, basically, I think you should really group these together, and then um, let's add something to basket. Okay, okay, it gets added there. That was fine. Um, overall, the styling of this website as it is right now. Um, does not feel 2017. Um, it feels like this was made in like 2008. Um, so just so you know that um, the design is lacking, you know, a professional edge. There's also a lot of inconsistencies. Like, see, like these are rounded uh, buttons, whereas here they're square, and then they're rounded down here again. These fields are are rounded, whereas this field is square. You know, like it's just global inconsistencies that uh, take away from the uh, the experience. Okay, so you have to click that. Okay. Is this um? 
Is this WooCommerce? Because it looks like WooCommerce. <sighs> yeah, it looks like WooCommerce. I was gonna say, like, dude, this looks so WooCommerce. Um, okay, cool. Pregnancy books. Um, so obviously you'd want to change something like this, like the no products found page. You want to have recommendations here because you want to keep people engaged, keep people, um, you know, exploring what you have to offer. So even if, you know, even if you search, you know, um, baby shoes, there's no baby shoes, but, you know, recommend something. Is there baby shoes? Well, all right, so here you go. You can, you can, there's baby shoes. But you get what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, I think you're uh, you're on the right track. Uh, it's just that if you want to use this layout, you need to really group your things together. You want to have a consistent theme and uh, keep people um, constantly engaged in in the product selection uh, process. So uh, I hope that's been helpful for you. Um, uh, if you have any questions or you have more designs, uh, feel free to contact me either on Facebook directly or email me. My email is alex at venmarkstudio.com. Uh, thanks and uh, good luck.